G'day folks, uh, your CIO Greg Silberman, CIOs and bow ties. We haven't done one of those in a while, but uh, we'll be getting back to those hopefully soon. Uh, this is my Come Learn With Me series where we uh, take all the articles that we put out on our various media platforms and then we determine which one's got the most likes and shares and um, we read them and with you, we read them and uh, we try and learn alongside you. So this is called Come Learn With Me. Today's article, China stocks in U.S. suffer biggest two-day wipeout since 2008. Wow. Okay, that's uh, something. Um, okay, a little bit dated, just over a month old. NASDAQ Golden Dragon China Index has fallen 15% since Thursday. Index loses 769 billion in value amid rout in Chinese shares. All right, let's see what this is about, folks. That's the picture. Kathy Wood, head of ARC. Okay. Beijing's sweeping crackdowns of its technology and education sectors has unleashed shockwaves across global markets, erasing $769 billion in value from US listed Chinese stocks over the course of just five months. The NASDAQ Golden Dragon China Index, which tracks 98 of China's biggest firms listed in the US, plunged 7% Monday after regulators in China unveiled an overhaul of its education sector, which bans firms that teach school subjects from making profits, raising capital or going public. That adds to Friday's 8.5% drop, bringing the gauge two, gauge's two-day decline to 15%, as big as since 2008. Okay, well, we know there's big drops, but regulated China, interesting. The latest events arguably highlight that the authorities are more willing to upset investors in pursuit of their broader political goals now than they were a few years ago, wrote Oliver Jones, senior market, markets economist at Capital Economics in a note to clients. <clears throat> it's difficult to say precisely what will happen on the next front, but on balance, it seems like the downside risks to equities have increased. Sure, what to what to highlight there? All right. Can you speak to the Crackdown yeah. crunch. Gauge of U.S. listed Chinese stocks plunged since hitting a record in February. Wow, down forty-five. Yeah. Nasdaq Golden Dragon Index. So from its high. <laughs> Some large investors have already started to unload their shares. Kathy Wood's flagship ARK Innovation ETF cut its holdings of China stocks to less than 0.5% this month from a high of 8% in February. <clears throat> the fund completely exited its positions in tech giant Baidu Inc. and has just 134 shares of Tencent Holding Limited. Its only other position, Chinese property site KE Holdings Inc. has dropped, dropped 60% so far this year. Wow. That looks like value to me. TAL Education Group, New Oriental Education and Technology Group, Inc., and Gautu Tekedu, Inc., please excuse my pronunciation, some of China's largest education companies all fell at least 26% each Monday, adding to their record declines from Friday. <clears throat> Interesting, huh? Wow. The trio has seen their shares, shares stuck in extended plunge since the middle of February, bringing their average loss, average loss for the year to 93%. Hmm. Wipe out. <laughs> They're not alone either. In total, more than 126 billion in market capitalization has been erased from Chinese education stocks traded in the US, China, and Hong Kong this year. Unbelievable. China's new policy makes these stocks virtually uninvestable, according to J.P. Morgan Chase & Co. analyst D.S. Kim. The worst case became a reality, he added. I like that. While the pain has been felt the most by education and tech stocks, other sectors were also under pressure. Property management stocks trade in Hong Kong tumbled on Monday after regulators said they were aiming to notably improve order in the market. Meanwhile, food delivery giant Meituan saw its shares plunge by a record 14% as authorities in Beijing issued a notice that online food platforms must, among other things, respect the rights of delivery staff 
and ensure workers earn at least local minimum income. Well, I agree with that. But wow. <clears throat> this comes as investors also grapple with the looming threat that the US Securities and Exchange Commission may force delistings of Chinese companies that don't comply with the Trump era law requiring them to disclose financial information to regulators. It is challenging for us to quantify the overall risks at this point, but it is clear that we're entering an uncharted territory with substantial moving parts, according to benchmark analyst Orni Jiang. With assistance, Livia Valage. Well, there you go, guys. That's interesting. It's, um, well, you know, do you, is this, a, <laughs> this is a difficult one to know if it's a, a permanent change or a temporary change. So, uh, very, very interesting times. May you live in interesting times, right? The old Chinese saying. Okay, thanks for joining me for another session of Come Learn With Me. Join us again soon. Greg Silverman, out.